I have a 2013 Honda Pilot on which I have to do a drive shaft for. The drive shaft was causing a vibration between the speeds of just about above 30, under 60. And it progressively got worse, but panned out right around 65. So, in today's video, I'm going to be changing out the drive shaft on a 2013 Honda Pilot. Now, if you haven't already, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, as well as check out my channel content for more, and hey, when it comes to cars, have fun. On this 2013 Honda Pilot, there was a drive shaft vibration between 30 and 60 miles per hour, and this is something that was actually caused by the courier bearing um, right in the center. It was loose. It just had play in it and it caused the whole vehicle to shake in the center. It started to get progressively worse as the speed started going up. You just can't film without a... Honda has identified this and it is a technical service bulletin. If you're wondering, it really talks about how the four-wheel drive and the inspection procedure for the four-wheel drive vehicles. Now it could be out of calibration or it could be the drive shaft itself. I bought the car used, so for about $500, we got a new drive shaft for it, put it right in, it worked, problem solved. All right, let's get into it. One eighty-six seven twenty-three. Car must be in neutral. There it is. And because we got automatic lights, turn those off. Sweet. Now shut the car off. Elevating the vehicle. This drive shaft right here, causing a vibration, needs to be replaced. I'm going to start by removing the bolts that hold it all into place. So we look here. You see that the carrier bear flexing an awful lot. Love how they have these like supports here. Pretty cool. Kind of keep it from falling. But yeah, should be pretty straightforward. If I was removing this drive shaft and reusing it, you're gonna want to mark it with some pen, so you know exactly where it goes. Come over here. Just kind of do this. Starting from the tail end of the drive shaft, I'm gonna use a 14 millimeter. It says 14 and an impact. I'm gonna rotate this drive shaft ever so slightly. To the front. Using the same 14 millimeter, I'm going to loosen the remove these. Four. We're free. Coming forward, I got the two bolts that hold the carrier bearing in place, or the center support bearing, however you want to say it. Using a 14, I'm going to loosen these two bolts that hold this carrier. First, going to move back forward to the front and remove those four bolts. And then I'm going to let it rest like that. Turning back to this bearing. You see, it's being held up by that little support bar that I've noted earlier. You can take the last of the bolts out. Watching Firefly Lane last night. It's actually a really good show. I like it. I can remove these four bolts. If it falls, you can rest it on this exhaust. Just like that. Here comes the moment of truth. The support bearing has to come out of the support bracket. Bracket. 
rear-wheel drive check. Let's take a look here. We got the new and the old shaft. Yeah, some some alterations. Not too much. Got new new joints and everything, but I mean, it looks pretty good. Put that new shaft in. I'm just gonna brush some of that rust off. Alrighty, now I'm gonna put the new drive shaft in. I'm gonna start by getting it in there, and then I'm going to essentially just put the bolts in, but first I have to get that support bracket up so it will hold itself up. We installed the four preliminarily, these four bolts. Now hold this in place. Looking around, I have four that need to be installed right there. Make sure it's lined up. Here's the one. And keep in mind, these are torqued to yield. Or so I've read. I was watching Firefly Lane last night and it was uh, actually a really good show. I really enjoyed it. There's four. Now I can snug those down and then torque them. I'm going to torque the two carrier bearing bolts to 29 foot pounds. All right, torque the propeller shaft protector which is this to 16 foot-pounds torqued torqued the rear propeller shaft and bolts to 53 foot-pounds Done. Right shaft installed. All right, how is that? It's not a difficult process to do and carry out on a Honda Pilot for replacing the drive shaft. Now, you do have two U-joints, and the original drive shaft has staked U-joints, so they're non-serviceable U-joints, but you can get serviceable joints for it. I don't really recommend that. I mean, if the drive shaft is only about two to six hundred bucks, depending on where you get it, then I mean, might as well just get the whole new drive shaft and get it over with. Now, you could spend the time trying to bust out those stakes and getting them in. I mean, I do have a video on a drive shaft that I had to fix the stakes on on a Honda CRV, but you know, after going through that whole shabaco, I'm not going to do that again. So, hopefully, you enjoyed the video and it did serve some sort of aid. And I hope your Honda Pilot serves you well because I know mine is really awesome. As normal, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, as well as check out my channel content for more. Hey, 